Hi guys, it's Carol. How are you? Today for lunch, my both my daughters, Becky and Casey, were going to be here with me, and my two youngest grandkids, Rhett and Taylor, and I decided I wanted to try making fettuccine Alfredo with broccoli. I've never made Alfredo at home, I don't think. I could have and I've forgotten, but we have gone to Fasoli's a couple of times and I've had it there and I like their Alfredo. So I thought, how hard can it be? First of all, you know, I always uh, cook my chicken in the crock pot. When I buy a package of chicken breast from Walmart, there's usually seven or eight in there. I just put the whole package in the crock pot with some salt and a little bit of water and cook it until it's done, then shred it up. And then I measure it out by two cups and, and put it in freezer bags in two cups amounts. Well, anyway, that's what this chicken is. And I bought fettuccine noodles, a package of mozzarella. I thought I had a package of Parmesan at home, uh, grated Parmesan. I didn't. So I thought I had, oh, well, I've got a jar in the fridge of, you know, dried Parmesan. Uh, no, didn't have that either. So no Parmesan today. But anyway, shredded the chicken. We didn't use all of this. Uh, cooked the fettuccine noodles. Oh, before I get any farther along, I have some new subs. Thank you guys for subbing. And thank you, my longtime subs, for staying with me. But I want to welcome my new subs and let you know this is not a cooking channel. I'm just showing you what we had for lunch. Um feel free to give me tips <laughs> and but don't think I'm saying cook it this way no I'm just showing you what we had for lunch how we did it okay okay we cooked the fettuccine noodles and then we dumped chicken in the pot after we drained it so in the pot is noodles and some chicken then we cooked the uh, zucchini in the microwave Oh, good grief. You have to watch me every minute. Not zucchini. Broccoli. We cook the broccoli in the microwave. Zucchini is what is the vegetable I am most likely to add to any casserole. That's why I was thinking zucchini. While the, the broccoli was cooking in the microwave, we sort of tossed the noodles and the chicken around and then dumped in the jarred Alfredo sauce. When the broccoli came out of the microwave, uh, we needed to chop it up a bunch. So we chopped that up and then added it to the pot, stirred it up. Next, we dumped it all into a casserole dish and tried to smooth it out and, you know, have the broccoli spreaded well. Then we took the package of mozzarella and put that all over the top. I think we used the whole bag, but I don't really remember. Anyway, then we put it in the oven for about... Mm, I'm going to say 15 minutes at 350 just until the melt, uh, mozzarella looked like it melted in it real well. And we ate it. It was good, but it was lacking something. I don't know if I should have put some kind of seasoning in it or had more Alfredo sauce or more cheese and added the Parmesan. It was good. We ate it. And I asked everybody to rate it from one to five. Rhett gave it a four and a half. Becky gave it a four. Casey gave it a four. Taylor gave it a one. <laughs> she she did not really care for it. I, I guess I'll give it a four. It was good. It wasn't anything to write home about. It actually was kind of bland. And I don't know if that was the Alfredo sauce or I should have been putting something else in there. Like Italian seasoning or something. But then, again, we're used to having green chilies in practically everything we eat. Um, we're used to more like having Tex-Mex spicy. So that may be why we thought this was bland. Everybody agreed that we should have tried a better Alfredo, like ra uh, ragu. Everybody agreed they would try it again if I wanted to make it again sometime if I bought a name brand Alfredo. So, let me know what you think. When you if you make fettuccine Alfredo at home, 
what do you put in it so it's not bland? Let me know what you think, because I definitely don't know. Okay, guys, we're doing good. We had a wonderful day. It's been very pretty outside for the last couple of days, and it was today, and then this afternoon, this evening, we had a, a thunderstorm, so that was wonderful to get some rain. So everything's good here. I thought, gee, if we could have just had that thunderstorm back when the fires were going, but better late than never, we can always use the rain. Okay, let me know what's going on in your world, what you ate for dinner tonight, and how you would have made this fettuccine alfredo better, because it was kind of bland. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care out there.